Hey guys, continuing to make videos on the Mosin I plan to sporterize. There on the left, on the right, it is a PU Sniper clone. I didn't do any of the work on it. I bought it as is. I got a question asking about a bent bolt handle because a cork of the Mosin, like this is just awkward to use. With a little practice, yeah, it works fine, but just if you're not used to it, it is a bit awkward. If you were to try and do the work yourself, you can do it fairly cheap. There's two options. I possess no welding ability, so if you were able to weld, you can just essentially cut this off, weld this piece, which they sell for like $25, or uh, the route I would go with, and the fit and finish will look a lot less, but it would still work all the same. If you just cut this off, uh, drill and tap it, and then you can just screw on the bent bolt handle. They sell those for like 25 bucks. Doing the work yourself, not that difficult, but again, fit and finish won't be that great. The bolts that are already assembled like this, in my opinion, are just grossly overpriced. I won't be paying 200 bucks for one of those. Not worth it, in my opinion. But if you already have one like this, I'm just going to swap this over. I'm not going to mess with the bolt handle. And as for other plans, I've already ordered the stock. That'll be in at some point today. I got a Vorschex 3-9. to nine That, in my opinion, already better than the, um, the original scope. Mind you, this is um, probably not period correct, but it's a good manufacturer. It's not a Chinese knockoff of it. And yeah, it should be good. The only other part I'm missing is I haven't ordered yet is the Picatinny rail that I need to get because uh, I'm not super worried about height because as you can see, like that is quite a bit of height on there. On this one, um, there's a section that's short. That's like 15 bucks. And there's a, a I, I try to remember the name of the company, a Bad Ace Tactical. They make a long Picatinny rail so it reaches all the way back here. And then I can get the proper eye relief I want on it because I can essentially slide the, the scope how I want. If it's way up here, I'll be limited to the scope being up here. And that's be a bit far to be comfortable to shoot. So I'll probably go with that route. But that one is like $130. I'm trying to find it cheaper somewhere else. I saw a site that was selling them for $80 that were out of stock. And I don't want to go on a random site and wait a long time for shipping. So I got to balance all those things. I'll try and have that in by next weekend. So I'll be able to shoot the rifle and... Uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to remember how I was going to talk about other stuff, but no, that should be it. This um, Mosin clone, which I don't, I don't see a whole lot, um, like for resale online. I paid like four fifty for it, so not a bad deal overall. And I mentioned earlier, if I so much as like sneeze on the scope, it loses zero. Like as far as like how it was mounted, uh, cut, drilled and tapped, two screws holding in place. Everything is locked tighted down. That's not moving, but it's just the scope itself. Those turrets aren't locked down so if i throw in even in the hard case if it so much it clicks one way or the other it's already off a little bit and yeah that is it for this video thank you guys for watching going to the range at some point tomorrow I'm gonna be shooting pistols and make more videos on that that is it for this video thank you guys for watching forgot to even show me swapping the mounts add this in another video so chamber empty trigger one falls out Put down same deal with the other one And I'll be leaving this bolt on this rifle for the meantime. I don't plan again. I'm doing the work myself. And when you support a rifle, uh, they don't go up in value. I can be, I'm, right now I'm throwing a $70, uh, $120 scope, a Picatinny reel, and that's adding nothing to the value. And I understand that. It's all for my own enjoyment. And bent bolt handle. It's a lot more comfortable to use. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching.